young waitress who was leading me to my table was singing along with the song. I said, you like this song? She said, I love it. I said, you know who this is singing? And she said, yes. And I just didn't believe that she knew. And I said, okay, who? And she went, uh, uh. I said, I didn't think you knew. I said, it's a group called the Doobie Brothers. And the guy that I was have lunch with overheard the conversation. And as she walked away, she said, he said, these kids, they don't know anything. And I said, well, it isn't like that's important for her to know. But the point you're making about young people not knowing anything about history it's pretty scary. And I was telling him about this former NBA player named Jay Williams who congratulated the Celtics on hiring their, quote, first head coach of color, close quote. His name is Ime Yudoka. He is from Nigeria, played in the NBA, and was an assistant coach and worked, worked his way up. And Jay Williams congratulated him as the Celtics, Boston Celtics, quote, first head coach of color, end of quote. Sigh. You ever heard of Bill Russell? He was the first black head coach in the NBA anywhere. Coach from 1966 to 69, won two titles, by the way. A guy named Tom Sanders served as a coach for the the Celtics, also a black man. Casey Jones from 83 to 88, won two titles. Oh, M.L. Carr, 95 to 97. Doc Rivers. Led the Celtics to an NBA championship. So outside of Doc Rivers, ML Carr, Casey Jones, uh, Tom Sanders, and Bill Russell, he's right. First black. I mean, how do you go on TV and say that? How do you do that? He is paid to cover the. This is a, this is his job. It's all he has to do. This is all this man has to do. And before you go on TV, you know what you're going to talk about. You discuss the subject. You get your talking points in line. He never he never went on Google and said, you know what? Maybe I ought to find out whether or not Boston's ever hired a black coach before I congratulate this man for being the first one. Uh. All right, here's Jen Psaki on the Olympian who turned her back. She's a hammer throw. She won the bronze. But uh, this weekend, Gwen Berry, who hopes to represent the United States as an Olympian on the hammer throwing uh, events, won a bronze medal at the trials, and then she turned her back on the flag while the anthem played. Does President Biden think that is appropriate behavior for someone who hopes to represent Team USA? Well, uh, Peter, I, I haven't spoken to the president specifically about this, but I know he's incredibly proud to be an American uh, and has great respect for the anthem and all that it represents, especially for our, our men and women serving in uniform all around the world. He would also say, of course, that part of that pride in our country means recognizing there are moments where we are, as a country, haven't lived up to our highest ideals. And it means respecting the right of people granted to them in the Constitution to peacefully protest. Okay, so we as a nation haven't already lived up to our highest ideals. That means everybody can protest and should protest. Could I ask what specific thing she's protesting? Is she protesting police brutality? Well, that's a lie. We've talked about that a million times. Is she protesting inequality? That there ought to be equal outcomes? Not equal opportunity, but equal outcomes? Is she claiming, as Michelle Obama did every year, that women make less money for doing the same work as men do? False. What's the grievance?